Morning wear fan. I haven't even brushed. Stop biting me! Invades everybody else's privacy. Beauty declutter. Okay, I have to admit, I have second guessed vlogging this a few times. Getting hate on the internet is really, really easy, especially when you're out there putting your insecurities on the internet for people to see and judge and make comments about. But um, I guess if you're seeing this, it means I have gone ahead and uploaded the vlog. You have seen me, heard me talk about, um, you know, every time I was asked if there's one thing you want to change about your physical appearance, what would it be? And I would say that I would want to have my upper lip match my lower lip. Not to get lip fillers like lip fillers like to plump them up or whatever. Lip fillers just to match my upper and lower lip because, you know, there's that there's that one thing every person has that nobody else may notice but you notice about yourself and you're like oh maybe I wish I could fix this kind of a thing it's been something that I've talked about quite a few times and very openly um, you know on the internet and over a period of time I also kind of forgot about it it's something I thought I would do I wanted to do I I never really got around to it, you know, like deliberately made a plan and said, I'm gonna go to a doctor and do this. Um, however, two, three weeks ago, I got a call from a certain brand uh, who is coming into India and they make lip fillers. And they reached out to me and they said that, you know, are you interested, blah, blah, blah. And uh, for some reason or the other, that deal didn't work out. It didn't happen because logistics, etc. But now since that conversation happened, it got stuck in my head that uh, I want to get them done. Like it kind of reignited this chabi, turned the engine of that part of my brain on where I was like, oh my God, I have always wanted it. Why am I not indulging myself in getting a treatment that is temporary because lip fillers dissolve in like five, six months. Like they go away, they don't last forever. It is a temporary, temporary um, solution. Let's call it that. It's a temporary treatment. Let's call it that. Um, so here I am, I guess, sharing the story. As of two hours ago, I just got my appointment confirmed. Tomorrow at 1 p.m., I go to the doctor. I will share each and every detail with you. My only request is that if I'm sharing all of this with you, don't come at me. I am secure about who I am. I am secure about the way I look. If there is something that I want to change temporarily for me to see how it looks for kicks, okay? Um, I'm not even sure like how it'll turn out because I want something that's really, really natural just for the match. I will get into close-ups in a second for a before and after kind of a thing. But uh, don't come at me because the idea of this is to be transparent with you. There are so many people out there who do these treatments. My um, idea is not to influence you to be like, oh, just go fix things and go under the knife. That's not what I'm trying to say. Please don't misinterpret this. I'm trying something for myself um, to try something new in the space of beauty. That's what I have been doing for so long. And uh, it's not going under the knife. It is a temporary lip filler. God, I keep saying that because I'm so worried about it being misinterpreted. Uh, but, um, but I am sharing this with you because I've always aimed at being a very, very, very transparent person, very transparent creator. So come with me on this journey because I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. And I'll tell you what exactly I have in mind in like detail before we go ahead and do the session tomorrow also okay so first things first you will see that my lower lip has a little bit of an automatic pout i have always had this and it's not happening right now but um usually when i smile like really wide this lip gets folded in really easily that has happened and it does make me a little bit conscious because my job is to be on camera and when i smile i don't want to be conscious about it but when the lip folds in, it's almost like my upper lip is like a thin line and then my lower lip is like a full lip. So the aim at the doctors tomorrow is not to touch this lip at all, just to get a little bit more volume here on the upper lip so that it matches the lower lip. See this? This comes out a little bit more and this is a little bit more flatter and thinner. 
I know this may sound like a really small dumb thing to so many people but like I said there's always that one thing about yourself and if there's nothing that makes you conscious more power to you I guess for me this makes me conscious and because my job is to stay on camera it is something that I sometimes get a little bit uh, weirded out about myself so I'm kind of glad this whole thing came up the way it did and that now I've taken the appointment and I'm going tomorrow and I will not chicken out. Okay, I'm in the elevator. I am officially on the way to Dr. Jamuna Pai's clinic. Uh, they've asked me to come in a tad bit earlier. I'm going in around 15, 20 minutes earlier than my appointment time because they need some time to numb my lips out. I did a call with Dr. Asma two days ago and she confirmed that there's no before care, no restrictions, nothing as such. Um, in fact, there's not much aftercare either, but she said she'll explain that to me better when I'm at the clinic Just in case there's any kind of bruising at all Okay, I need to get to my car and start driving Dr. Jamuna Pai's skin lab is literally five minutes away from my house that made it super super convenient for it to be the location for my treatment. Once we got there, the first thing we did was took some before shots. This is really really important and it's also included in the consent form and waiver that you sign before you go ahead with the treatment. I then met with Dr. Jamuna Pai herself. Oh, pretty, yeah. so cool. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I have this pout on the lower lip. Yes. And it's just not on the upper lip. So sometimes when I smile, like my upper lip goes, goes in, in and then it just looks like I have a thin line on top. Just, just smile. Just For laugh. Yeah. Okay, now don't. Okay, now do it again. Okay. It's at least not turning in yeah. It's for that which I sometimes need another but procedure. Okay. But uh, yes. See here yeah. and here. It yes. Just I know. So we have to work on the upper lip mostly. I have to just hydrate the lower lip. Hmm. You can see there's a little yeah. bit of crinkle but the fullness is there. Yeah. I can you know accentuate the tubercles a little, these little you know uh, bumps which yeah. are beautiful are called tubercles. Okay. So I'll accentuate that and hydrate the lower lip because okay. it has volume. Okay. Whereas the upper lip doesn't have any volume at all. So somewhere we have to make it match. Okay. Suppose we say this is one, I make it and this is 1.6 or one and a half times more. Then the, you've you got a sweet small face. This will look very yeah, no. obvious. So we go according to what will suit your face and yeah. I do the upper lip. And I'm not crazy about the... Yeah, pout. I'm not crazy about the... the Neither are You know, we. huge pout. I even like even like though you say you're in a, you know, the glamour, the fashion industry and all, we can go slow. The product that we use is the, of the highest quality. We don't use a second product so that there's no confusion. So this is a US FDA approved. It comes with a built-in, it's hyaluronic acid gel. It comes with a built-in anesthetic. So you're comfortable even when we're giving you little, little, you okay. know, injections, okay? But we numb it nevertheless. Yes. Okay, I'll see you soon. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What you're seeing over here is my lips being numbed. Even though the injection in itself, the syringe in itself, has the filler along with another number within the same injection, they're completely numbing the area down over here just to make it as painless and pain-free as possible. This one's looking in. Hmm. You know, you got to tell you, right? And after about 10 minutes of having the numbing cream on, it was time to wipe it off and get started with the treatment. This is our protocol. We show all the clients what product we use for them. You've got hyaluronic acid gel and it is it is the smoothest. So it that that part you won't understand, the milligram and all that. But it has a built-in um, anesthetic gel. Okay. So it's more comfortable as you're injecting. The part about the anesthetic gel is after the procedure you will feel numb. And because the numb supply supplies here also, you'll feel the the size of your nose or the lower lip or the chin no. or, or, or this area getting a little numb but all of that will go within an hour. Oh. Okay. Don't drink anything hot after this thing because you won't realize the temperature of the okay. yeah, because of the anesthesia. So we are opening this. It's a protocol that we always show what product it comes 1 ml in syringe. 
We'll keep it here. The needle yes. is the finest that can be. So we don't have to worry, you know, about, I mean, bruising as it is the last 10, 12 years. We are not. I've, I've injected for over 20 years, but we still have, we may, would maybe once in a while have a little bruise, but not in the last few years. Bit so that you understand what I'm doing. Pain this till now? Nothing. Okay. So as you can see, doctor went ahead and injected the fillers in different parts of my lips, the upper lip as well as the lower lip. She started from the right side of my upper lip and then repeated everything on the left side as well. While we didn't want to do much to the lower lip, we did have to do a little bit just for the little matching of the technical understanding that she had. I completely trusted her judgment on it and I was so happy with how painless this was. That was obviously a huge uh, dilemma I had. It was one of the things I definitely was nervous about and I've seen a lot of lip filler videos so even though everything was numbed and all I wanted to make sure that it really truly did not give me discomfort and I'm so happy to report that it literally did not feel painful at all I'm so happy like, I'm I feel glad like you. I will never have to outline my lips ever <laughs> like overline them the way I have with my cupid nice. bow. I just feel nice. so good right now. Whenever you feel a little older when we do this, we see about no yeah. the lower lip looks nice. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm back in the elevator. This process literally took just under one hour, including the numbing time and all of that. I am uh, obviously just getting home. I want to see Jerry's first reaction. It's very subtle and it's pretty natural. Tell me what you guys think about it, obviously. But I'm very curious to see how Jerry responds. I'm not letting you in without the mask. No, I'm going to come in and then I will take off the mask. Oh my God, that was the fire exit. Okay. He has followed me around the house as soon as I entered to take my mask off. Oh. I'm just enjoying this. Look in the camera. Oh no, I want to look in the lips. <laughs> Do it. Are you showing me? Idea was, can you put the fan off? It'll be an audio issue. Do you think it's natural? Yeah. So basically, she just helped accentuate the upper lip because that was what my conscious area was. And she didn't really do much to the lower lip at all. She just added a little bit, very, very little, so that it looks smoother, is hydrated, and matches well. And I really particularly oh. like the way she um, added a couple of dots to either end of the uh, mouth so there's like this little smile on the face even when it's a straight face is it paining? nothing there's no pain there's literally in a few spots on my lips I when she was injecting it I could feel like a little poke but it was like a it's really like because they numb you and the uh, filler in itself is like of a really high quality so it has a, a, a numbing agent with it basically with the filler so I did not like I could feel slight movement in general out of everything a few times two three times here and there I did feel a little that poke but mm. that poke would be like like it would just come and go like okay now nothing the only aftercare they've said is avoid wearing makeup today um, observe she said we haven't had bruising in over 10 years with any of our clients but observe in case there is any bruising bruising if it happens is also very normal um, and she said don't have anything hot for the next few hours because it's a little numb inside also mm -hmm. so you won't realize how hot something is you'll burn something without realizing you've burnt it which I think is very good advice so there's no other like aftercare or whatever like it's it's pretty chill interesting and I look it looks super natural like when I said to her that you know I just wanted to be really natural enhanced just to match and for symmetry she was like yeah we don't believe in that 
pout either so i really really appreciated that and dr jamuna pai was fantastic like her hand is so good and she has such a good eye for detailing like even the fact that my like so for example obviously because we were working on the upper lip um with my they they put two dots here right of the injection of the filler on the cupid's bow so she made sure they matched the heights match which is so important it's super 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 natural stop it no dayani i can kiss you feels the same no would we know i don't know what to check and try to get more kisses from me i am going to keep this vlog going till tomorrow just in case that slight chance there is bruising or anything that i don't know doesn't work go according to current plan i will let you know um but i'm really really happy with how it worked out the entire process starting from numbing to literally when we finished was maybe 40 minutes at like and i think i'm overshooting and uh, i'm just really really happy with how it feels i know this might feel like such a small silly thing to so many people out there but i think that it's those tiny tiny things that you 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 know about yourself that you'd like to see altered i'm not saying i may continuously do the upkeep and maintain this because this is dissolvable um it will go away in like i'm sweating a little bit because i put the fan off to for it to not hamper the audio i'm not committing and saying oh something like this is something i'll do forever i really 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 wanted to try it once i've tried it once i am really happy with it we'll see 6 months from now whether i feel like keeping the maintenance and doing like a refill na khun ko to refill kehte hain i don't know what they call it for the lips just a maintenance upkeep we'll see if i want it but i really 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 like it right now i love how natural it is so if you've never observed the thin lips about me like i know i have maybe some people may not even notice it altogether but i'm happy <laughs> that's what matters right you do little things to make yourself happy try something new oh <sighs> okay i'm going to go have lunch now and try to stop staring at my lips for a little bit <laughs>
yeah the process was really simple super super painless i guess one of the very important key things to keep in mind is that the doctor you're going to needs to be someone who is very very experienced because you obviously don't want a botched up job uh, dr jamuna pai has been doing this for over 20 years and in addition to that um like her hand was so smooth and good nothing pained there was no discomfort you guys have seen shots now of the injection going into my lips and I was totally okay. Uh, of course, I was numbed out. But if I happen to have missed any details that you do want to know, I will make sure to talk to you guys down below in the comment section, as I always do. I all I'm always reading, liking, hearting, and responding to each and every comment. So keep the conversation going down below, and I will be sure to answer each and every doubt and query. Please watch this video till the end, hopefully, because sometimes people ask questions where the answers are in the video itself. Um, but I really hope I've covered. everything that i could think of and everything that i've got on insta story uh questions i'm trying to be as transparent as possible so once again just a gentle reminder please be kind i have no makeup on right now and i just love how natural they look so if you haven't observed this about my lips before or if you're someone that i meet for the first time you probably will not even be able to tell that i had something done um okay and with that I'm signing out. Today is Sunday. So Jerry and I watch uh, movies and like kind of turn the house into a home theater on Sunday. So that's what I'm about to go and do. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Mwah. Please don't forget to hit like on this video. Comment down below with your thoughts and tell me what you think of this. And uh, I'll see you in my next one. Mwah, 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 mwah. Extra special kisses from my lip filler lips. <laughs> Bye guys.